Liang Shuo from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. This is a joint work with Ping, Loi, and Xiao Tang. In this dataset, we propose a new large-scale face detection dataset called WeatherFace. It contains 32,000 images with nearly 400,000 labeled faces, which is 10 times larger than the existing dataset. The dataset contains rich annotations, including, including face attributes, event class, and the face bounding boxes. Faces in the wider face dataset are extremely challenged due to large variations in scale, pose, and occlusion. Before introducing our new dataset, let's first have a quick review of existing datasets. MIT plus CMU dataset is proposed in 1998. Images are in the grayscale, and most of the faces are in the frontal view. The FDDB dataset has helped driven recent advances in face detection. However, it is collected from Yahoo News website, which bias towards celebrity faces. Pascal face dataset is collected from Pascal VOC dataset. Most of the images in this dataset has only one face. AFW dataset is still is, is built using Flickr images. For each face, it has rich annotations, but background is less cluttered compared with FDDB and Pascal face dataset. MALF dataset is first face detection dataset that support fine-grained evaluation. However, most of the faces are larger than 40 pixels. IJB-A dataset is proposed for face detection and face recognition. It contains large number of video frames, which involves high redundancy. If we look at the big picture, the diversity of face appearance dramatically increases from time to time. The MIT plus CMU dataset consists of grayscale frontal faces. However, this dataset cannot meet the demand of developing multi-view face detection algorithm. Therefore, later face detection datasets, for example, FDDB dataset, involve faces with larger variations in pose occlusions. But current state-of-the-art face detection algorithm still cannot handle large-scale variations, heavy occlusions, and extreme illuminations. To further motivate the development of face detection, we propose wider face dataset that includes faces with large variations in scale, occlusion, pose, illumination, and expressions. Previous face detection dataset only consists of several hundreds or thousands of labeled faces. Such data scale can only cover a small portion of variations in the real-world applications. Wider face dataset has nearly 400,000 labeled faces, which is almost 10 times larger than the existing largest face detection dataset. In order to analyze the failures of face detector, apart from pointing boxes, we also label five facial attributes, such as occlusion level, to support fine-grained evaluation. The total number of labels in the wider face dataset is over 2 million which is 25 times than the existing dataset. Next, let's have a preview of, face, of wider face. The wider face dataset has large variations in scale. It contains small faces, medium faces, and large face. Wider face has large variations in pose for three dimensions like row, yaw, and pitch. We explicitly collect some samples cover wider degree of occlusions, including no occlusion, partial occlusion, and heavy occlusion. Our dataset also has faces with different expressions. We group it as normal expression and exaggerated expressions. We also consider faces with different makeups, like no makeup, light makeup, and heavy makeup. Similarly, the dataset has images of different illuminations, like dark, normal, and bright. Different from all the other face detection datasets, wider face dataset is organized by semantic event class. Typically, different events associate with different things. 
Here we show the, the histogram of detection rate for each event class. We pick three event classes as an example and show some samples collected from each event class. Here we show the traffic class, which achieved less than 10% detection rate due to the tiny face, which is less than 20 pixels. The students and school kids event class achieved nearly 40% detection rate. Compared with traffic class, the faces in this event class are much larger. The density of face in this event class is high, which is difficult for the face detectors. Here we show the handshaking class as an example. As we can see, faces in this class are reasonably large and less and much sparser compared to other event classes. This makes it easier for face detectors. So far, we have seen lots of variations in wider face. Designing a robust detector that covers all these variations is still an open problem. To help design more robust detector to cover different variations and to support fine grain evaluations, we labeled five face attributes, including occlusion, pose, expression, illumination, and blurriness. For each attribute, we label their levels from normal to extreme. To demonstrate wider face is more challenging than existing datasets, we use Edgebox, which is a generic object proposal approach, to compare the number of proposals versus their detection rates of faces. Through this measurement, we can have a preliminary assessment on the difficulty of the dataset and potential detection performance. These are the bars of AF, AFW dataset, followed by the Pascal face dataset, FDDB dataset, and IJB-A dataset. These datasets achieve over 90% detection rate with 8,000 proposal per image. Here, we show the bars of wider face. We group the faces into three subsets, namely easy, medium, and hard. Even for the medium subset, even for the easy subset shown in a dark blue, it's still more challenging than existing dataset. The hard subset achieves only 34% detection rate with 8,000 8, proposal per image. It suggests that wider face is more challenging face detection datasets compared to existing datasets. Apart from datasets, we also propose a baseline to explicitly deal with large-scale variations. We propose a multi-scale two-stage cascade framework. This method employs a divide-and-conquer strategy. Specifically, we divide faces into four groups based on the scales. For each group, we first train a proposal network which can generate response maps for specific class, for specific scale. Then we employ region proposal network on these response maps and generate multi-scale proposals. This is the first stage. After generating proposals, for each scale, we train a deep neural network to conduct face and non-face classification and bounding box regression Simultaneously, we merge detection results for each detection network and generate final phase detection results as shown in the pipeline. Here, we show the precision and recall curves. When we transform from easy set to hard set, we can observe a trend. All the phase detectors suffered a fierce drop of performance. For the easy set, none of the methods achieved the average precision higher than 75%. The hard set is extremely challenging. The performance quickly decreases with the average precision below 30%. As we demonstrated in the previous slides, weather phase can serve as a challenging evaluation set. In this experiment, we show that it can also serve as an effective training set to improve the performance of phase detectors. We train ACF and faceness on wider face to conduct this experiment. The figure shows the original performance of the baseline method. Here we show the result of retrained models. The retrained ACF and faceness detector outperformed the 
the baseline method by a considerable margin. The results demonstrate the effectiveness of face that of wider face as a training source. We have shared all the annotations and images on our website. Please feel free to download it. We welcome submissions of new results to our leaderboard. Thank you.